she said he was her favorite character to write. Bon bon, what do you think? What do you think about the Poppy Port trilogy? No, oh, please. One second, we're gonna get um some thoughts. They love the Poppy War. Everyone loves the Poppy War. It's the best. Fanny, yes, come. Tell the audience what your thoughts on the Poppy War is. Yeah, come on, Fanny. What are your thoughts on the Poppy War? Fanny, tell the audience what your thoughts on the Poppy War is. What are your thoughts? Who's your favorite character? What plot points does you- Fanny, do you think Ren is justifiable in her rage? Yeah, I think so. I mean, so much has happened to her and she just is kind of sad. And Matt. Oh. Yes, Fanny. Fight him with the power of the Phoenix God. It's giving Ren. Oh, Hulk, you look like your favorite character is, um, Larry, what's the best Poppy War book? Hey, what's the best Poppy War book? Which one's the best? Get back to work. Which one's the best? Larry, which one is the best book? Which one is the best Poppy War book? Oh, okay. The Burning God. Okay, book three for Joe Wayne. Which one's the best Poppy War book? The Dragon Republic. Fanny, which one's the best Poppy War book? Oh, okay. The Dragon Republic. Welcome back to Reading with Will. I am Will, and this is part two of my favorite book of all time, The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, Rebecca Kuang. Me and Rebecca are like this. Me and Rebecca go back a few months, but I know her like a sister. She is a mother to me. She's a mother to me. So the synopsis for this book is gonna be really hard not to spoil just cause the events that happened in the first book ramifications throughout the entire trilogy. The war has ended and Ren is recruited by an old ally and friend, not gonna tell you who, she is on the run from everything. She's on the run from her guilt. She's on the run from the fiery Phoenix God who demands blood and for her to murder everyone. And she's on the run from her newest problem, opium addiction. That's right, guys. Ren is now addicted to heroin. She's trying to find a new reason to fight even though she honestly just wants to die. Nothing is ever as it seems. I'm gonna say there is a lot of talk about which of the three books is the best, but I know this one gets a lot of love, a lot of love for the second one. I couldn't even say which one is my favorite just because I, when I say, I say this is my favorite book of all time, I just view it as a whole completed story. So it's hard to pick just one book and I just pick the entire thing. This book takes place in the Dragon Province. The Dragon Warlord wants to turn the Nikon Empire into a Republic, which sounds all fine and dandy, but you know. But the change for this new government will not be easy and it's gonna cost blood, it's gonna be death, it'll be another war. The influence of this comes from Hesperia. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I wanna talk a little bit about Hesperia. Hesperia, as I said in the last video, is the British Empire. They are influencing the events of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. This is the first time we get to actually see them in this book. You know, they're described as Europeans, basically. Hesperia is across the ocean to the, the west. So a little backstory. There are three Poppy Wars. The book that we see when the first book, The Poppy War, that's the third Poppy War that takes place in this history, in this world. The second one is the Federation attacked Nikon again. On that happening, they, murdered Spear and everyone on that island dies. And in reaction to that, Hesperia shows up and was like, no, we're gonna save the day now and act like the heroes. But anyone that meets a Hesperian knows that they're not, they're not great people. In Nakara, they, their religion is the 64 gods. The way drugs play into this, you can take drugs and you can travel to the Pantheon and see the gods. The Hesperians believe in one god, and there's this whole battle between who is right and wrong. One of the things Ren is forced to do in order to help the Dragon Republic go be tested on by the Hesperians. And there's this horrible lady, horrible lady named Sister Petra. She basically just straps Ren down and tells her how she's inferior and how she's stupid and really racist, really racist. But this is the British Empire. So the white supremacy is obviously present. The Hesperians also have way further technology. They have 
guns, they have like the giant blimp floating things where they can fly in. They have so much technology and electricity. This trilogy and this book in particular, characters are faced with making the decisions of bad or worse. There is no good or evil. Every character in this book is gray. Every single one, and that's what makes it interesting. So the characters in this book, a lot of the same characters, this is really when we start going into a character study of Rin because she doesn't have a purpose anymore and she's on drugs and she is consumed by rage and vengeance and the phoenix god in her head is telling her all these horrible things to do and you know she doesn't know where her purpose katai in this book um we really see the bond between katai and Rin grow he's still the level head in the relationship he's so logical balances Rin out really well it's what she needs because you know fire she's fire rf kuang describes him as a cinnamon roll a little cinnamon roll boy then we see neja in this book neja has a big role we see a lot of his similarities that he has to Ren, which we don't expect for him to, but he does have a lot of similarities. We see a lot of his family and we see some of his past. Venka we also see in this, Venka went through some trauma in the first book and we're still seeing the aftermath of that. It's hard to talk about, like, chapter 21 of the first book is the most traumatic thing I've ever read. And the ramifications of that Vaisra. He is Neja's dad and he is the dragon warlord. I want to talk about the time frame because I did say this was historical fiction. It's also fantasy. The plot of the story is 1920s China, 20th century China. So that's where you see a lot of the conflict, the relationships between China and the West, China and Japan, the actions that take place within China's history. So I was listening to a couple podcasts with the author and a really interesting thing she said is that Ren is a horrible soldier and that's what Rin wants more than anything is to be a good soldier but she is a horrible so soldier. She's too independent and she's brainwashed by other people's ideals and she commits 100%. That's her downfall is she's way too easily influenced and then she's fiercely loyal which is a dangerous combination because she'll start fighting for stuff she doesn't even know what it's about but she thinks it's right and she's gonna fight it to the death. Another interesting thing that was talked about in the podcast is how Nakara is being oppressed by Hesperia, but Nakara is also oppressing Spear in the Hinterlands, which is north of Nakara. And it's just this cycle of oppression. And the people that really are hurt are the citizens of these of the countries. So another interesting fact about our Lord and Savior, RF Kuang, she was in debate for four years throughout high school. She went to college and then she took a gap year and she moved to Beijing to tutor debate and it's really interesting to see her debate background and how that goes into her writing because it's very argumentative. You see that through the way the characters react and the characterization of them. How she started coming up with a series because while she was living in Beijing she was hearing stories of these atrocities from her grandparents and she thought I need to somehow process this and just like write something to keep these stories alive and that's how the poppy war came to take place and I also want to say I knew she had some degrees she has a master's from Cambridge a master's from Oxford and now she's getting her PhD at Yale I hope this made sense on what the Dragon Republics is I just didn't want to spoil anything and I want to still like starting to focus mainly on the trilogy but I hope you liked watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and like this video and go watch all the other ones. And you can find me on Instagram. My handle is willmobs and stay tuned. The third part is coming out real soon. Bye guys.